Hello everyone, my name is Liam Madnight, or Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a game called Anthology of Fear. A game about figuring out the disappearance of your brother. And that's all I know about it. I don't know too much, as you know, I like to go on these blind, but I'm just going to get straight into it, as always. Han, it's me. Sorry I'm calling this late. I hope you're doing okay. I just... I'm checking a lead. This woman claims to have worked in a mental health clinic. Says the boss had done something terrible. Claims she knows. I never knew Nate had problems like that. So she told me I'll find the answer there. And now I wish I hadn't left. But it's the strongest lead I've had. This Ethan. Are you there? I'm here. Are you sure you're not followed? Yeah. What's next? Oh boy, I can't see what's going on in my second inventory. Before we switch left, I'm just this one out. Okay, so I will. I probably have to disable my camera every now and then to see what's going on. But where the hell are we? Oh, we're in a we're in a little um, alleyway. Duh, that's what it said. Oh, I've got a flashlight. It's probably a key then that should left us. Oh, crowbar. Nice. We picked up a bunch of keys. I can't leave yet. Found it. Try not to draw any attention. According to the bum one of these doors will lead to the basement. I'm so confused. Close the club on. Do not store any personal property on the public basement, hallways, or the steps. Now, I don't know exactly how scary this game is going to be, which is what I say a lot. I'm downstairs. Okay, look for the blue door. This basement looks like some kind of maze, it seems like people still use it. I don't know how I feel about this. Picked up a collectible. I'm here. Good. Now listen. Officially, the clinic is on hold, but the building is still being maintained. Watch out for the alarm. to the clinic. I don't know what I expected to find. Nathan, safe and sound. An answer just left there. It's been almost two years. I was so wrong. I found the blue door that never my ears are ringing. I'm so close to f f finding him. Yeah. I can't leave yet. Used a bunch of things. Can't go this way. Nothing interesting. Where will 
I find the archives? The patient's archives are on the seafloor. Access to upper floors is secured with a card. There's no electricity. Can't I just use the crowbar? Breaking in would set off the alarm. You'll have to turn on backup power. So where will I find this office? <laughs> it's hardly an office. It's A53. I left you the key. Let me know when you're there. Okay, I'm not gonna keep looking at what the woman's, like, saying, because... I'm guessing it's just a hint. I'm in. So, you said backup power? Don't let your future go up in smoke. Also, that dog looks demonic. I would not know what this water tastes like. Emergency power, fuck power, easy as it gets. Fuses, lots of them. These are fuses, right? Um, I don't know, bud. Oh. Easy. Where are the archives? Can you hear me? Procedure on nerve stimulation. Electro electrophilogram, electrocardiogram, think oxygen. The results take you here at 5, 6, 6 minutes. 10 minutes of sleep onset latency, you're waiting for 10 minutes. No parties, no bacillus. We've been waiting teams reaching as high as 20. There's something to do about a teen in sleep. Doesn't work any a different color. Door to the archives has to have a card reader. Don't think it works. Sorry we had to leave early, but we are still on for Monday, Alice. Won't find anything here. Alice, could you pick up Danielle from up from school? I've got the late shift in Thomas Our Town. That's cute. Hmm. Archive. Oh boy. That must be close. Book Club. Join us every Wednesday, 4 pm to 6 pm in the common room. Starting next month with the other seashells by the seashell. We invite you all, Alice and Jane. So they must be like Two of the main characters then. Jane's 36th birthday, June 15. Cookies, cool drinks, fun times. Come join us in the common room to an amazing party. If you bring cookies or drinks, contact me, Alice. It's not it. It's not it. It's not it. Okay, just time to friggin' spam all these, I guess. Oh, is that it? Soren Nathan Andrew, initial examination descriptions. 27 year old, signed up for net. Reports having pr problems staying asleep, having recurrent nightmares, ir irritable, trouble focus, and possible sleep apnea. Reports using Atostamines for sleep, a company disease, family history of depression and paranoid schizophrenia. No, look, someone moved him to that hypno guy. 
Software. Okay, well, I guess it's time to just start searching these. So yeah, these, these results are phenomenal. We have not only made a major discovery in treatment of sleep and anxiety disorders, but also made a leap in conscious studies. This proves to us Mark's theories studies were correct, but if we get an activity strong enough, we can recreate and record it. This is a career making move, Sylvia. We're taking Exile's level, get ready for celebration. It's an honor to have you by my side, TH. This has also given me no son of mine vibes. Just sort of like the pure red room. Which I never actually recorded. Dr. Fiero Hypnos. But yeah, I did play it and I really enjoyed it. And you know, if you want a survival horror game that you haven't played, maybe check it out. Hmm. Nothing useful. That's cute. So you said about every single picture. Dear Professor Fiero Hypnos, Mr. McKinley had received your report from the incident. It would be an understatement to say that he did not take the news calmly. Let's just say it was not you who almost got hit by a VAR. Sir McKinney is a very disappointment for your team's performance. It's been months since our scientists got any substantial data from your clinic. And days since you picked up the phone, sir. The board of directors decided to suspend Morpheus Medical Center active immediately. Please inform your employees of his development. All of them will be put on paid leave. We need a drink for this. Any means of keeping this incident classified will be made and it will be in your side, sir, to ensure that. As for Mr. Soren's family, there must be no contact with them. Any living relative learns about this incident. Mr. Kinley will be no longer be able to protect you, sir, in your life's work. We insist that either you or Dr. Soul meet us this Thursday at 2pm in our Chicago office. Mr. McKinley will fly from Melbourne just for this meeting. You hope so will be your protective use. Delfina Mariatos, Jonathan McKinley's personal assistant. So they were obviously using them for some experiment. I forgot what I want. There are some documents in a VH tab. I can watch the tape on the TV on the first floor. Oh, there we go. Am I going to play from the perspective of that person? I don't remember what happened. Was there an accident? I have to find help to know what's going on. So, I don't remember ever driving through this area, shit, I don't even remember getting in my car today, I don't see anyone, but maybe I can find someone to help me. Maybe you're in the tape? That's the route we're going down? Please tell me you're a man again. Personally, I wouldn't put a man again here. Thank God. I was getting scared. Oh God, not again.
Thank you. I was lucky enough to find a goddamn crowbar in the middle of fucking nowhere. Why was it even here in the first place? Never mind, I gotta open that door. I don't feel so good looking at that phone, I have a feeling it should stay away. Can't go that way. So... I wouldn't be surprised if this right here is just all like a... Uh, A test? Like a psychological test? Like, I've noticed a lot of horror games go down this route. Like, um... Hello? I'm sure I know this place, but why? How? Yeah, there's been a lot of horror games I've played on the channel and personally that have went this route of um, experimentation. Which I'm not going to say which ones. Like I said, I don't want to spoil anything. That's some kind of generator. I found the generator, but it seems as there's no fuel. I, what? I can't see any gas tanks nearby, but maybe I can find some canisters somewhere. There was one on the back of the truck, which the mannequin is gone. This should be enough. Hey, it's not funny. From our Udi to. Oh, some proper friggin' dead by DI kind of shit. God damn. I work in generator, I shall allow the elevator to start. I'll see where it takes me. There's no other place I need to go. My son? Brother? I mean... I thought I would have played as like the sister or something, or like a brother. What the hell is this place? The elevator took me to this place. I have no idea what waits me here, but I feel safer here than outside. The elevator won't let me go any further, so I better see if I can some help here. Canned food and some alcohol. At least I won't starve here. Oh my fucking god, this is disturbing. I don't like that. I'll tell you what this place is. This is freaking Resident Evil 7. Gonna have Jack Bigger smash through the window or the wall. It's stuck on free or free. How much time have I spent down here? You've only been like two minutes. This is definitely not a place to relax. Just some painting tools and stuff. Nope. Why are you so finicky? Oh, it's just the... It's just the drawer. Looks like it should have drawers. Please don't jump out at me through the closet. I have a strange feeling someone was just lying in this bed. Stuck on free or free as usual. Don't know what that is. Wait, is that a window cutter? No, I thought it was the window cutter from uh, FIFA Sim. Mm. 
you got it, bud. So I'm assuming I've got to remember three or three. There are no buttons here, I don't know how to open it. Picked up a collectible. Fuck. Shows a naval battle. Indeed. I thought some key was lying on the table as if someone wanted me to be sure not to forget about it. Based on its size, I think it should fit some door. Maybe it's worth checking out. It looks like someone used this kitchen recently. I don't know what that is. I don't want to look at it. Looks like someone has used this kitchen recently. Is that a fucking human hand? Scared me to death. And a book, yes. Maybe it has something to do with that bizarre drawing on the wall. Why would it? I hate the idea that something could just come out of that elevator and I have to hide in there. Hear me. No. I was soon feeling someone was just lying in this bed. I don't know what I expect. Maybe I should try turning this on. Wake up. Yep. Wake up, Nathan. What's happening here? It's starting to creep me out. I'm not sure if someone's here with me. The fact that I haven't seen anyone so far makes me even more anxious. Hello. Why would you say hello to a fucking mannequin? This might be the way out. I'm not gonna stick around. I don't want to. So I think all of these tapes on Nathan's perspective. What can I do for you? I had an appointment. Three o'clock with Dr. Hypnos. Dr. Hypnos probably being that guy that I've seen. Just like last time the elevator stopped where it has what it's someone has to be here find me from all the places in the world I have end up here sorry I haven't fixed your computer yet enter and numpad still work though, see you soon, Rob. I feel like it's about a ring. I feel warm looking at this, like it's assuring me nothing wrong is ever going to happen to me again. They always say not to go towards the light. I think it's bullshit. Pretty nice picture. Reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. That's a pretty fair point. Let's end up.
welcome to the Morpheus 6 for how can I help you? Where am I? I was only able to retrieve the information. Error code. What can I do for you? What are you? My name is Max Morpheus, Anonymous Knowledge System. My main task is to help. What can I do for you? Can you help me? I found several options for possible help. Let me analyze. We want to continue. The only option. I found the best solution. Find Jericho. I haven't learned much. All I know is all I have left is to move on. Okay. The elevator took me to a lower floor. Looks almost identical. My guess is that it's part of a bigger complex. I'm hoping that when I'm talking, when the camera's off, it's still picking up. What I mean, how would I know? Never disturbing drawing. Yes, yeah, a perfectly normal place to put a chair. It's definitely not a place to relax. Okay. Not going back in there. <laughs> I hate how oddly quiet it is. Same talk. Fuck! I didn't mean that. Fuck. Audio cassette, I don't know how anything to play it on though. I'm never complaining about how oddly quiet it is again. What is that? Yeah, you're clearly moving. I can see that fucking movement. So I'm gonna go in here. Why do I want to sit here? So we don't have to go down that fucking hallway. Fuck. Is it moving or is it just the light? I 
I'm in two minds because it looks like it looks like the lights just swaying off and making a shadow, but at the same time it looks like a smaller. Okay. Oh. I think there's someone else with me here. Yeah, no shit. Some stuff, nothing to see here. I feel uneasy looking at this. Oh, hello. Close the door, walk around the table, open the door again, jump down. Close the door, walk around the table, open it again. Okay, maybe I'll fix it. Turn back on. Yo, a handprint. Pretty sure that wasn't there a moment ago. I'm just a mannequin, I don't mind mannequins. I know what a stubborn drawing. I can't explain this stuff. Logically, I feel horrible. I have to go. Okay. Yes, we do. Please. Run. Oh, every goddamn time. this place. I was here at least somewhere that looked exactly like this. I feel safer in here. I like to stay longer. Oh, we're just back here. Is that the same computer? All I can do is try again. Hit the system. Welcome back to the Morpheus Syst Interactive System, Nathan. Nathan, that's your name. You s you gave me this information. Um, next entry, help me. I was able to find an additional form of help. Do you want to continue, please? I detected the presence of another user. I can connect you. Let's just straight up connect. See who it is. Connection established. Please continue to start the text messenger. I regret. Yellow. Nathan over here, who are you? Oh right, now listen to me, you have to get out of here. Do you know me? Of course I know you, you're Nathan, we've met before. 
we've met, we've met before. We don't have time for this. What is Jericho or Jerio? Whatever it was. How do you know about Jericho? You are already at its gates. Please don't go inside, please. Tell me more. I believe you ended up in this place by accident. I cut that green mistake. Do you remember how you got here? Yes, I did a tape. Please tell me how you got here, this is very important. I woke up here in my car. Have you had a car accident? What should I do? You won't like my answer, but you have to move on. You have to get to the lower levels. Just don't get stuck, please. Is that all? Hello? Who's has left the chart? I learnt nothing, at least now I'm not the only one here. Whoever it was, he promised to help me. All that's left is to end the elevator. So what, I've just got to keep going through these, like, these areas. For what reason? You're lucky to be a part in this program. We will provide you with the best care. There's no need for stress. Yeah, I'm already part of a test subject, thank you very much. Have you heard of them? Murkoff Corporations. Link in the description for that for that game. Outlast Trials with Adam. I feel like I'm getting close at whatever I'm looking for. I don't know if I'll find it in here. And I don't care as long as it's got to get me out of here. Ooh, that's just disgusting. That's even worse. I don't know what that is, I don't want to look at this. Stuck on 303. I'm gonna remember that, 303. I really hope you don't come to life, or something like that. It's a poem. Dead men, dead man lie among the rubbish. How many dead men are here to be punished? So many women and children among. And here is our Michael, so promised so young, some of them are dead, some are now dying. Others lie in the corner, silently crying. Despite his young age, people say he was mad. Some mercury of drugs he wanted to add. Now dead himself too, a while with a syringe in his hand. Why all of this happened, none of them will understand. Except play out again. It's so quiet here. Don't say that. Hope they don't stop moving now. They seem to be looking back at me. Never ever say it's too quiet in a horror game. Ooh, no. Fuck. That scared the shit out of me. I have been... I might have a heart attack by in this video. Dead men, dead men, swinging on a tree. How many dead men can you see? Jason is swinging right there. And life pushed and shoved. Not a good husband he was, but his daughter he loved. His wife saw it all. Drowns her with grief in a glass. The kid's fate was like dad's. Her corpse is lying on grass. The wife just fair. Jumped from the fourth floor. She was lonely no more. Now the family's whole. What's up? Michael lies here, Jason lies here. Looks like there's something missing, but I have nothing that would fit. Excuse me? This is depressing. Fuck off again! What was that? Please stop. Right, so I've just got to find the bodies. Picked up the bunny statue. 
You picked up Toy Skull. It's just a dummy, but it looks damn real. What do you mean it looks damn real? It's fucking staring right at you. It was literally just like. Oh, I fucking hate you. You're gonna chase me, aren't you? I still have yet to determine what kind of game this is. So I've got three bunny statues now. Hope they don't start moving now. Right, let's just close them back up. Why does everything have to have goddamn moving looking eyes at you in games? I did it. Uh, I had to look it up, obviously, but it worked out. Because I did not see an audio tape anywhere. I'm stop sitting around, fuck that. Fucking hurry up. If I'm extremely lucky, I still just want me to leave. I saw enough of these corridors already. But I have to go back and get the power back on. Fuck no. Well, I've got the set team. Going. I'm assuming that was just like, yeah, well, it was. It was pretty much just another team. What the hell is this place? No growth, no heart, no soul. You found Jericho. What the bunny? Nathan lies here. What a fucking gun, holy shit. There's some kind of diploma. Your name, sir? Nathan Sorin. What can I do for you? I had an appointment. Three o'clock with Dr. Hypnos. Excuse me. Sure. Hello, you've reached Morpheus Medical Clinic. How can I help you? Okay, so it's always the same.
I really hope they don't want me to use this. Great. One of you fucking grabs me, I swear to god. Can't pull the trigger, there's something blocking it. Okay, so it's extra shoot, extra shoot where? Until I kill it. I don't know, bro. What's that gun activated by the phone ringing? Nothing happened. I think there might be more of those power boxes in this place. Are you joking? Yep, you're still looking at me. <laughs> Time to get the fuck out of here. Indeed. I was doing the store of the power, and I'm sorry to make a play me from the snoozy elevator that's gone out. I see. It's just that... it's all new to me. It's understandable. You're one of the first to participate. But please, try to relax. Any questions? to get away from this madness, this gun, these creatures, it all seems surreal. I must be dislo dissociating. I'm safe for now, I hope. Well, this is like the safe spot. Please don't be there, I need you to answer my questions. Hoping to see to see you again, Nathan. You were hoping to see me. Of course, I'd like to help you, Nathan. It's a pity we won't be able to meet again. Did you find help? I'm assuming I've already got limited questions. Yeah, I never use a phone help in this game. Connect with you. Mission established. Please continue to start. The text message. Uh, I am here. So happy you made it. I'm afraid I know why you're here anyway. I know how to get you. Keep accident pressing the flashlight. I already know enough. The elevator will take your side. Be careful, you may face some difficulties there. What's next? Once outside, you must pick up the phone, no matter what happens, you have to pick it up, only then I'll be able to help you. How will you help me? I'll get you out of here very soon. It will all just be a big memory. That's all? Users left the chat. Look to you, Nathan. See you soon. That stranger helped me out of it. Should take me outside now. I hope to be honest. 
I somehow doubt it's the end. Not at the moment. Very well. We can move forward. Good job, I still got this. The stranger wasn't lying, I'm actually outside. He said to pick up the phone. But he should be waiting for me. <laughs> oh! I think it's this form, but I have to make. I can't see any more of those creatures. Let's check out the form where I still can. Do you just have like the phone? And I wouldn't really call them creatures, I would say they're the same friggin' person who just keeps coming back to life. I must be in a coma. <laughs> if... Nathan saw in day of death, something time of death, three or three, cause of death, exclusively neglect, signal interference caused by incoming phone call. So a phone call killed us. Okay, so I was just playing as the dad. Oh brother, or oh, sister, the table seems so real, it's, it's impossible and yet these doctors seem to be obsessed with it, I still have documents to go through. Let me check those documents first. I've already read that. I didn't know Nate has problems with sleeping so it sounds pretty extreme, well you agree with that. History of illness, 27 year old man of difficulties, staying sleep. Slip the up and air ruled out, normal results from polysomnograph, February and then examination, patient ready for MNET. The recording mentioned Alice Hill, the same person who signed these papers. The course of the writing down step by step, but this tape couldn't have been real. Nathan's personal detail, his signature looks like his too, we haven't gotten this up in the now. The tip mentioned adults held the same person. I saw a daughter and I'll find something else. Or maybe I'll find something there. So I'm just going back up to the top. I need to find something. Yeah, I've already read that. Maybe back through these. Oh, there we go. Uh, I have a box of documents and another tape. This time it's Alice. I'm not sure if it's in the picture. How she fits in the picture. Okay, how look that up. I'll go.
next tape, please. What was the pillow? I thought I thought I seen some person's face just like, like just behind us. That's that scared us. Mommy. Okay, sometimes Alice now. It's gonna be a beautiful day. One of the books Jane recommended. It's okay, I guess. I had a strange dream, I don't remember, but it was related to Jason, I think he must have already left. It's the late shift for me today, I'm mentally... I'm not mentally ready to change clothes yet. I still have to do my makeup before I leave. I think it's still wet. Oh, an instant camera, Jason's hobby. Too many books, too little time, we all know that. I hope this, like, setting for this one isn't, like, you know, I don't like this picture, but Jason does. What do you got against, um, fish? Just not recommend this one. We have quite different tastes and everything. I forgot to make the dentist appointment for Ele em Emily. I was going to say Alamy. Yeah, but I hope it's not like the way the first one, like the first level was, because that was just a bit repetitive. That's a scene from Emily's favourite fairy tale. I'm not going to wake her up just yet. I'll do it when breakfast is ready. You must have already left. There are many things in life I'm not sure about, but this is without a doubt the most comfortable chair in the world. Honestly, I already forgot what this book was about. Picked up a collectible. Honestly, I already forgot what this book was about. Morning, Mom. Yeah, Jason already left for work. You didn't tell me how to work, Ali. Emily is up. Time to take care of breakfast. Make us breakfast, little buddy. A classic for today. Toast with fried eggs. I'm sure I have everything I need. Now I can heat up the oil and make toast. You said oil. Um, classic toast with fried eggs. I'm sure I have everything I need. I better wait for the oil to heat up. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait. I like to keep it on in the background when I'm with Emily. You picked up toast. Clean plate, where would you find? Yeah, it should be ready now. Out with my bare hands. Good to know. That the game has a little bit of um, realism to it. And it obviously doesn't get any more realer than drawers not opening because of stuff of stuff stuff. All done. Hey John kid, I'll make you tea in a moment, I have to grab some first. Screw it, the tea can wait, Emily wants to pay up real paint. You just said you want to paint with Emily. Dark cold, there's no reason to go down there. Well we need to find paint, so... Never too many. I 
got to do some chores before I leave. I only want the paint roll paint. Maybe you're, maybe you're in a bedroom. No, no, not again. Where's Emily? I have to get to her. Again. So he probably did something to her, and they got a divorce or something. Why don't you love me? Why the fuck did you leave her? How am I supposed to explain this to a child? Oh, so he left her. Okay, to be honest, I know I said I didn't want the um, original design back where it was like just constant rooms of roads, but if it's like this, I don't mind. I'm sorry. I can't move this. I know that's gonna spell anyway, Emily. I already guarantee it. I'm not looking forward to seeing that monster. Where are you? I think whatever attacked Emily was the same thing. Mommy, look at that. The white bunny, it's shiny. Picked up toy ball. Looks like there's something missing here, but I've got nothing that would fit. Well, I've got E. For A. Emmy. Whoa. Okay, so that's what you got to do after I've got everything. Yeah, I'm all looking forward to seeing the monster. That's for damn sure. So it starts down here. That's mean. Well, it's just a bookshelf. It's from you. Why did you leave me? I love you. So... Looks like there's something missing here. One more letter. What the hell would it be though? Oh, there we go.
What's the matter? Short of time yet. Are those things blinking at me? Oh, they are. Oh, that's not entirely creepy. I mean, I'm sure the game's gonna pull something terrifying in a minute. I love you, why did you leave me your colors? No matter how many times I open, I get jump scared by the wardrobe in this game, I'm always gonna open it. What a big ass eyeball. Do you remember? Do you remember, Alice? What happened to Emily? Do you remember? Do you remember, Alice? What happened to Emily? You can't justify this. Oh, there we go. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. Emily was her name. With her brushes, she would swirl. Painting was her world, art always in her mind. She loved animals, big and small, no matter of what kind. One day, a big storm came and a scary thunder roared. Gladly, her best friend was there so she could be her ward. And so our girl wouldn't be scared, the friend invited her to play. And with that little help, the fear of thunder went away. Then, a loud rumble was heard, everything went blank around. Screaming was loud in the house, and then a crying sound. But this time it wasn't her crying. Do I remember leaving? We picked up drawing. Oh, we, that's what I'm gonna have to do now. I'm gonna have to pick up drawings and I am leaving. I don't know why, but all I can think of when I hear, when I read, do you remember, is just, do you remember? Box. Don't know what that one was. Black hole. I remember something. Do you remember? Is that? Oh, it's a it's a TV game. Not <laughs> well, a game on it's the the little joystick console Great. game. You remember your child? Am I supposed to congratulate you? Now tell me, Alice. Do you remember me? Do you remember that day? You were confused. I guess not then. The sun had just set. The storm got too quiet. And then he saw me. It was your fault. And it was your fault, too. You both made me do this. Remember? Not really, bud. Oh, no. 
But I've kind of worked out who that is. That has got to be the Jason. Real work of art, all this mess is worth it. I'm hiding first. Go to the bathroom and don't peek. Oh boy. Emily wants to play hide and see. Play an account, and now we wait. One, two, three. You know what, Shuffle, Emily? I don't know why, but when it's saying like Emily wants to play hide and seek, it reminds me of Emily wants to play 10, 11, 12. I hop after a long day, who would resist? I don't get sharp people. Never do I. I always do baths. Okay, time to seek. Back to hell. No, not yet. I'm pretty sure I know where she went, and I'm pretty sure this little truck store will find a way to surprise me anyway. You jump scare me, I swear to God. I think I heard it downstairs. Use the globe as each of the protagonists. What? I didn't use the globe. I didn't even touch it. Mr. Rabbit Emery's favorite toy. Well, there you go, I've touched it. Emily's newest masterpiece. Just turn to a laser fear protagonist. She's upstairs, what a prankster. I just know for a fact she's gonna jump scares in the wardrobe. That's why I'm like, standing away. Nope, not here. I just don't trust the wardrobe. Under my bed. Not here, yeah, it went cinematic there though. Emily is almost growing out of it, and this rate will be needing a bed soon. Where else could she have gone? Oh, she's locked us in. That to me sounds like it's trying to symbolise that ship here. Stupid, stupid. It is not how it really was. Think again about me. Are you fucking stupid, Alice? That wasn't what how it happened. Did she kill him? And in the end she killed Alice and then Emily. I feel like this one's a bit more interesting than the first tier because that was just like about um you know doctors and whatnot. Where she was watching her all the time, she has to be sitting there somewhere. 
Oh, is this the basement? How do you left your rabbit here? Mm -hmm. Mr. Rabbit can't see. He lost his eyes. Can you look for them? I want to show him the new toy. Sure, kids. Spoon? Looks like someone already got his eyes. Don't worry, we'll find some. Are you going to scoop his eyes out with a spoon? Oh, please don't. Oh. You picked up human eyes. That is vile. I haven't picked up human eyes since I played Madison. Oh, fuck. Mr. Rabbit will show you like some new eyes. Yeah, he sure does like them. I heard our laughing over here. Yeah, I think this one has a bit more lore to it, which I like. I fucking hate that. It doesn't have any teeth. She won't eat carrots without them. I am not giving that little shit teeth. Don't crunch. Oh. Right, I guarantee this is going to be the most disturbing thing ever. Mr. Ebo will show you like some teeth. Thank you, mommy. Mr. Rabbit says thank you too. Please don't come find me, you little shit bag. Okay. Curious? Why have I news? Some nail it. We score fast gun. Okay, there we go. I had to look into a video of what to do. It just turned out that you had to combine stool and noose together. Finally, my first light. Okay, don't tell me how to get down there. Down where? See the the thing is gone. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wake up, bunny.
Did she put a decapitate her own daughter? So tell me, Alice, did Mr. Rabbit like your gift? Why do you keep pretending you don't care for me anymore? You're lying to yourself. Still having problems with memory? Oh, Alice. Why would you think I'd want something that already belonged to me? Please do that. Give me something real. Show me how you smile. Okay, so apparently... Okay, I did one. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, whatever I'm doing, it's working. I hope that's not in the video, but I'm literally going like, just... Flicking my toggle joysticks back and forth, hoping it's working. I mean, it is working. I had to look up the video again. Sorry. Please, finally. Oh my gosh. Emily is afraid of the storm I have to distract her. Play a game with Emily. Come on, Mom. She loves this game. It's a fuse there in the basement. Jason would usually take care of them, but he's still not home. It's too dark, I have to get a flashlight to control first. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I know it's supposed to be games room, but the renovation has little to do with fun. So where are we meant to go? Oh, this. Flicky, flacky. So he hung himself. That's why he was never hung. What? God damn. That's why he hung himself and was depressed. I'm really sorry about Jason. I know it must be hard for you, but... But you have to get back to work. We can't afford you to do this. Dr. Hypnos is asking about you. Can I bring Emily? It's too bad, Alice. 
We have the next patient at 3 p.m. He's here for NT. Jane will fill you in. Okay, we're almost ready. Please turn your phones off. Chop chop. Transfer all calls, Jane. Now, let's begin. Bring Emily with you. She shouldn't stay alone. So, why did the telephone we start kill in 15 him? minutes. Take Emily to Soviet doctors. She can look after her. Mom, can we go to the bathroom? I think I'm gonna throw up. Let's show back to normal. This looks like the original room. Jane will take the deal out. Give her the key. Come with me. What is with that little like? Ball of like flesh. I, don't, I still don't get that. God, my arm was sprained. Well, elbow, sorry. Oh, they're both red. I thought it was a knife, it's a pen. I'll swap in from her perspective now. Someone downstairs is making a lot of noise. Is that mom? She told me she'd she'd be later tonight. So if it's not mom, then who? Mom? Is it her? Someone is here, I don't know these men, I don't let mum come back, I'm scared. You sure you saw someone? Yeah, come on. So if it's just a kid, why even bother? Going to jail because it's some goddamn bra. She's so scared she can't remember her name. Let go. Fuck. Shots fired. She had no head. What an asshole. Not going to jail because of some brat. A kid will not remember what you look like. And I'm pretty sure. Even if they did remember. Come on, we'll see your next masterpiece. Even if they did remember, how are they going to find you and like how they're going to describe you to the police? Please, Mark, I hope you read my letter. I can't expect you to even begin to understand it. You're as clueless as our child. She and Emily got caught on the crossfire. She's 
And for you too. I see you've decided. So, see you soon. I wish I had a flashlight to see what the chief looked like. I'll take it I'm joining them in the afterlife. Assuming that's what they are now as ghosts. Oh, am I going to jump out the window? It's that poem about Jason and whatnot. Yeah, the mother left from the from the fourth floor window, and now they're all together. Hill Ellis. Date of death, something time of death, 11.57, cause of death, spinal cord injury and brain hypoxia. These tapes must be sent for kind of joke, there's no way they're real, but they look realistic and those doctors were treating them like they're important. I don't know what to believe anymore, so this woman was a nurse here, she was during the procedure. She was there during the procedure. Seems like they got her in the end. History of illness, the body of AH has undergone meth. Patient was unresponsive, had several broken bones and severe internal bleeding. The body was transported quickly enough to successful from transfer. So what was they want? I see some references to some research. The rest of the papers had been moved to the head nurse's room. Which I'm pretty sure was on the third floor. This can't be all there is. My question is, why are you even so here? Like, must be this room. Why are you here? That's like my big question. I won't find anything here. Well, you came here to look for something, so why not check? Right, that's the same. Patient, 27 year old, treated for atomic insomnia. Nightmares led to wakings up several times during the night. Claims to have tried to treat with as as to minds with no improvement, family history of depression and paranoid schizophrenia. After the patient was hooked into the equipment, he at first resisted the signal after exactly 70 minutes and 30 seconds. The patient entered the MRI phase after which he was connected. He appeared to have been a lonely alley, empty except for two cars and a couple of mannequins. The patient initially thought he has gotten into a car accident. The patient's mind seemed to create obstacles for the man to overcome. He took a crowbar from one arm mannequin. Oh, so it's just, um, it's just documenting what he was doing, so... It is definitely some kind of experiment. I thought I saw him walking. Why are you looking around like... Like, you know, like, if there was anyone around... Soren Nathan Andrew, procedure net, technique reductive, results medically unexpected death, impression, signal con caused by incoming phone call. I don't know why he was looking around for, it's like, if there was cameras, they would have captured you on camera already. Someone's here, I have to go. Tommy twice. It's that guy with a shotgun. Why would you peek, freaking idiot? Just 
run, bro. Holy fuck, I was naive to think that the arms are there. They won't have to get up here as soon as possible. I remember the main entrance. If only have to get there. I must hurry. Yep, he's got a fucking shotgun. I think, I think that's what that is. Yep. Is that meant to happen? They're clearly trying to cover up what they're doing. So, he came looking for his brother, but he never found his brother, he just know what happened to him, and everyone involved was killed, except for the guy with the flashlight and the shotgun. So, I don't know, like, Sorry, again, um, I don't know, that didn't make a lot of sense, like, I didn't really have, like, a, you know, a good ending, I was hoping he would have escaped, and then it would have, like, told you a bit, but I like this jump scares, that was pretty good, got us quite a bit, but, um, I don't want to drone too long on this, because I did that with Metamorphosis at the end. I think I went for like four minutes. But, um, I hope you enjoy what you see today. And, thank you so much for watching. I was meaning to get this game a long time ago. I've had it on my PlayStation since like March or May. Something like that. March or May. It's been ages since I've been wanting to play it, but thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe, as always. And I'll leave links in the description to other videos I've done. And I hope to see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye.